you know this particular ranch is loaded with some really good genetics and so they have asked me to come down here and try to do some culling which i gladly said i would they asked me to also bring a suppressed rifle the reason why is because suppressed equipment does such an effective job at taking them out quietly Spike showed up right here, and he's on the list. surgical right there absolutely surgical if you're going to shoot subsonic ammo make sure that you shoot where you know exactly where your bullet's going to hit don't get in a hurry and be very very strategic in how you're going to shoot that deer right there dropped in his tracks <clears throat> nice typically my reaction when somebody says should you take spikes out is, is absolutely not there are a lot of things that could have happened to that fawn that made him into a spike as a yearling. However, if there's adequate nutrition available and the weather conditions have been very good, more than likely that little yearling buck should be better than a spike. Then you have to take into consideration the land you're hunting. If the land that you're hunting it has a substantial population of really good genetic deer, why would you want to take a chance with a spike buck? Because he may grow up and be a big one, but at the same time too, he may not, and odds are he's not going to. And the reason why is because you got so many big bucks on a piece of property, give those big bucks an opportunity to pass on those genetics rather than having a taking a chance with a spike. And so it's for that reason that I'll wind up saying, yes, take out the spikes. Culling animals is something that is essential if you're gonna have a good quality deer herd like what's on this particular ranch. You know, this buck right here, He's uh, what we would classify as a spike. He has this little bump starting out, but he's clearly a yearling buck. The deer on this ranch, because of the genetics and the nutrition that's available, ought to certainly be better than this. So as a yearling buck, he should have had at least six to eight points. And therefore, they've asked me to remove him from the herd. They also asked me to show up with suppressed equipment. The reason why is because suppressed equipment does such an effective job at taking them out quietly. So what the plan is, I'm gonna take him back to camp, get him all cleaned up, and then I'll be back out here this evening, take him a rifle and see if I can knock down a doe. It's pre-rut. Now you look at a lot of these does and they've got fawns with them. And so you may think, well, is it a good time to, uh, to take does out of the herd? Well, first off, those fawns are weaned at about 90 to 100 days. A fawn is perfectly capable of making it on their own, even though they hang around with their mother. The reason why they hang around with their mother even after they're weaned is because it's a social group and deer are social animals. But this is the time of year before the rut gets started that you want to take the does out. And the reason why is because you don't want to sexually stress out those bucks breeding those does if you're going to wind up taking them out anyway later in the season. Just like that. There we go. That's what I came out here to do. To take a doe. This area is under heavy game management. Lots of bucks, lots of really, really good bucks. And the reason why is because they shoot the junk. They give the good genetics a chance to breed. And they take the does out to where it's a one-to-one -one buck doe ratio. Boy, she's gonna be good eating right there. Hunting with suppressors is a lot of fun. It's very effective. But if you're gonna use subsonic ammo, like I used this evening, you need to have very good accuracy. I put that bullet right here on the top of the head, but hunting with suppressors is a great way to uh, get more people involved in hunting. And, uh, but the key is if you're gonna use subsonic ammo, so the noise is very, very quiet, 
you need to make sure and have laser accuracy. Put it right there on top of the head. Ooh. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Liberty Safe, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Blue Rock Outfitters, and Shadow Hunter Blinds. Elevators. The High Road will be right back. Special rifle with me right now. This is a, it's a 308, but it's topped off with a Harmosite thermal unit, and this is an excellent unit to hunt during the daytime or nighttime with. I'm hunting for a doe. The rut is on right now down in South Texas, and the bucks are chasing the does. And uh, every time I've had an opportunity at a doe, all of a sudden the buck comes in and buggers it up. I'm shooting supersonic ammo out of this rifle. My effective range is 250, 300 yards, really, because it's a standard 308. You'll notice the rifle is suppressed. A lot of people wind up wanting to shoot uh, subsonic ammo out of a suppressed rifle. Now, you can do that, but your effective range is going to be much shorter than shooting supersonic. And I'm going to hopefully show you what it'll do to a deer. There's a lone doe all by herself right there. Here we go. Hopefully she'll stay put. That's the way it's done right there. All going right. I mean, the cool thing about this, and this is a Zeus. It's a thermal unit made by Armasite, and it's one bad piece of equipment. The cool thing about it is, I'm going to stay put till dark. I'll go out and get that dough later on. But the cool thing about the thermal unit is you can hunt with it during the daytime or during the nighttime. Of course, we're not gonna hunt deer at night with it, but we are covered up with feral hogs down here. And so I can sit out here. If I see another deer, I'll go ahead and take a pop at it. If I see a hog after dark, I'll go ahead and take a pop at it. a really nice doe here about two hours before dark and then came back in and took out this hog right at dark. Now, thermal units are really good to use at nighttime. I mean, they're exceptionally incredible, actually. You know, you can see anything that heat measures off of. And I've got mine set on white hot. And you could actually see when the, when the hogs were moving behind the trees, you could actually see the tree in the uh, foreground. So I had to wait till the hogs got clear and I took a shot. And what's so cool, it measures, it's so sensitive, the thermal unit is, is that as a hog hits a deck, I leave the thermal unit on it, and it measures the heat coming off of the blood on the ground. And it's just really unbelievable. If, uh, if you've ever wanted to use a thermal unit, don't just count on using it at nighttime, but use it during the daytime as well, because the people that buy thermal units, use them, they have a dedicated rifle, they will use them for daytime and nighttime hunting. It's Armacyte Thermal Unit, and it's called the Zeus. If you're interested in hunting the legendary South Texas brush country, check out our friends at greattexashunts.com. As hunters, we play an important role in wildlife management. It's not just about killing, but instead, our job is to target the right animals to harvest. 
And that's all part of what we call the joy of the hunt.